Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. In this session, we will see what is the condition that needs to be satisfied such that a line y equal to mx plus c is a tangent to the circle x square plus y square equal to a square. So what is the condition that needs to be satisfied so that a line can be a tangent to a circle. We have taken circle in simplest form that is with center as 0 comma 0 and the radius equal to a. Its equation is x square plus y square equal to a square and the line is y equal to mx plus c. Now what is the condition that needs to be satisfied? We know that the perpendicular distance between a point and a line. Let us say the point is x1 comma y1 and its a distance from a line ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is given by ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by root of a square plus b square. Now, we can leverage the same formula here because we know that the tangent is perpendicular to the circle at the point of contact. So, we know the center. So, x1, y1 is 0, 0 and the line ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is y equal to mx plus c. So, if you try to find out the perpendicular distance of point 0, 0 from the line y equal to mx plus c. Substituting in this formula, we will have this line is nothing but y minus mx minus c equal to 0. We substitute the values. We have a into x1. x1 y1 is 0. So, I will have 0 plus 0 minus c divided by root of a square a square is nothing but minus m whole square that is m square plus b square which is equal to 1. But this should be according to us is equal to the radius because when the line when the line or the tangent when the line touches the circle the, dis the distance from the center to the point is radius and in this case radius is equal to a. Therefore, we can write down c equal to plus or minus a into root of 1 plus m square is the condition to be satisfied or we can square it up and say c square equal to a square into 1 plus m square. We can do this in another method also how we can find out the how we can find out the condition we have another method so let us look at the other approach also. The other approach what we do is we know the equation of the circle is x square plus y square equal to a square. We also know y equal to mx plus c. So the points which are there on both the circle and the line will satisfy both the conditions. So we can go back and write down in place of y mx plus c it will become x square plus mx plus c whole square is equal to a square. Simplify this, we will have x square a plus b whole square m square x square plus 2mcx plus c square minus a square is equal to 0. If we just try to make this into a quadratic equation, simplification will give x square into 1 plus m square plus 2mc into x 2mc into x plus c square minus a square equal to 0. Now we compare this with the standard equation. We have ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Now we know that when when a particular line intersects the circle, it will be intersecting at two different points. 
now when we come to the tangent we know that these two points should should coincide to this particular point that means as we move from the center of the circle towards the end of the circle there will be a particular point where these two particular points whatever we have they will come together and they will meet that means for this particular equation the roots will be equal roots are equal then we know that the condition to be satisfied is discriminant equal to zero let me repeat that again now this particular quadratic equation whatever we have it has two two roots let us say suppose this is one root and this is one root because it's an secant now it is intersecting at two points now when this line becomes tangent what will happen these two points will coincide to one particular point that means this quadratic equations roots will be equal because both are coinciding to one value only in that case discriminant equal to zero discriminant equal to zero means we know that b square minus 4ac equal to zero b square minus 4ac equal to zero now let's substitute the values for b square minus 4ac b is 2mc i can write down 2mc whole square is equal to can i take it to that side and say 4 into a a is nothing but 1 plus m square into c c equal to c square minus a square now let's open this we have 4m square c square is equal to 4 into 4 into we can say 1 plus m square into c square minus a square so i can write down 4 into 1 plus m square c square minus or maybe we'll just open it up in one stretch only so that it's easy can i say 4 into c square plus c square m square minus a square minus a square m square now 4 and 4 will cancel on this side and that side so what is left out is we have we have m square c square is equal to c square m square plus c square minus a square into 1 plus m square or i can write down minus a square minus a square m square equal to zero now again i can cancel m square c square on both of them i will have c square equal to a square into 1 plus m square which is nothing but what we got earlier from the approach of finding out the perpendicular distance between the point and the line from the center to the point of from the center to the line y equal to mx plus c the perpendicular distance is equal to a so the point we have to understand in the second approach method is that x square plus y square equal to a square and y equal to mx plus c when they both when they when they have the points which satisfy both the equations that means the line is intersecting the circle at two different points now when these two points coincide to one particular point then the line secant will become a tangent that means if you are able to find out the quadratic equation the roots of the quadratic equations will be equal in such case we know that discriminant equal to zero so we substitute a b c values and say b square equal to 4 a c we get c square equal to a square into 1 plus m square so that is the condition that needs to be satisfied by the line y equal to mx plus c to be a tangent to x square plus y square equal to a square the condition is c square equal to a square into 1 plus m square